For more on efforts to reach a compromise in raising the debt ceiling before Tuesday, let's turn to Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota. She is also on Capitol Hill. Senator, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Russ. It's going to be a long weekend, but we have to get this done. I understand. Let's talk about the Reed Bill for a second. Is it your understanding that bipartisan negotiations are, in fact, taking place today? Uh, I believe they will take place. They must take place. This is the ninth inning. Uh, the time for political posturing is over. Uh, these votes uh, are votes, and they had to take place to really get the ball moving, and now is the time for the real negotiations. I think one of the things the American people have to understand, and believe me, I'm appalled by this. I'm a first-term senator. Uh, I was in county government. Uh, businesses don't run like this, county governments, but that's beside the point. We have to look for the common ground now, and here's the common ground. The cuts are nearly identical, over a trillion dollars uh -huh. uh, in cuts, plus Senator Reid has added an additional uh, trillion dollars. Secondly, there's caps in both of these bills, and the Republican version and the Democratic version, caps on spending. That's what brought us to prosperity in the mm. 90s. And then there's an enforcement mechanism in both versions uh, with some kind of a commission to ensure that there's going to be further cuts and a further way of looking at this well, in a balanced approach. Well, Senator, let me ask you about the bill that you and uh, your fellow Democrats decided to uh, table last night. How far was that from what you're willing to accept? I'm talking about the Boehner bill. Well, as I said, the cuts, uh, while Senator Reid's bill has more cuts, uh, the cuts in the bill are similar for the that set trillion dollars in cuts. And so I think that is a, a very positive uh, piece of this, that we're not wildly different in the kinds of cuts we're looking at, and that's very important. I would say so. uh, Also the caps. Uh, so there's a number of things in there that are similar. But one of the things that's problematic, of course, is having to go through this four months from now because of the consistency for our economy. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, the markets going wild this week. Uh, if we do this again in December, it's going to hurt our retailers. So we have to come up with a way to do this. And I think well, a longer term extension with an enforcement mechanism to do more is what is the most important. Well, let me ask you, you sound, you know, optimistic, you know, frustrated, but, but optimistic on this. But let me ask you about a, there's a story in the New York Times today that three veteran lawmakers say from a political standpoint, standpoint, from a timing standpoint, they think it's almost impossible that a deal can be cut by August 2nd. Do you agree with that? Uh, I don't, because I think that the what you've seen so far is posturing. Now we're down to the real, real nuts and bolts of this. It has to get done. I've heard from uh, CEOs in my state or two snowmobile companies, Polaris and Articat. That's getting serious. Uh, they want to get this done. Uh, General Mills. I've heard from families all over our state that said, what? How can this happen? Uh, how can you go on this long? So I think that the American people are calling their representatives, uh, they're emailing, they're sending mm -hmm. letters, they're making very clear that this is it. So procedurally, while it's difficult, it can get done. Right now, we plan on having a 1 a.m. vote right. uh, in the Senate today so we can keep that clock moving. And negotiations are so important today uh, to get this done for our country. Okay. Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota. Long day, as you said. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much.